Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Spy Family episode number 7. Okay, the previous episode um we got we were able to uh get into the like get the admission to in the uh, Eden Academy. That's why new uniforms and uh, while actually going to buy new on uh, uniforms for Anya, they got attacked or like you know Anya was almost getting kidnapped. But your obviously, you know, like your was dead. You were just, you know, made everything okay. <laughs> and uh, she was kind of thinking, having second um, thoughts about whether she's able to be the proper mom for her. Uh, but Anya was like, "Don't mind, it's okay. You know, you have, you, you can, you, you can train me. You know, I'm, I'm going to like a new school. The school will have a lot of, you know, like new people and everything. So I need a training, like you know, session." That's why you started teaching Anya to fight. <laughs> that was funny. And while on the other hand, Lloyd got to know that Anya will have to become the Imperial Scholar. I think that's what they're called. And there's like Stellas for good behavior, Tornitos for bad behavior. If there's like a lot of Tornitos Anya gets, she'll be expelled. So that's a problem. And um, like, you know, only if he's, she's able to become an Imperial Scholar, then the mission will be successful because the child that is i think desmond was the name of the child of the main target you know um like you know obviously he is going to become an imperial scholar everyone thinks so so like you know like that's why only then the dad will come and uh, that's the thing <laughs> and then in the second half we get to see anya in the new school we get to see desmond he seems like um like you know like like a child you know as like childs are actually kind of a little bit you know um a little bit bratty in a, a way but at the same time uh, i don't blame him because uh, as i i think i said this before in the previous video um like you know his his dad didn't even come his parents didn't even come in the first day of his school so imagine what goes on in his uh, you kind know, of house you know, he, he probably never gets any uh, like you know never meets his parents like you know, maybe like once or twice a month or something and uh, he's probably lonely and everything so yeah it's sad in a way if you think about it we'll have to see you know anya did give uh, da uh damien a like in a big punch and unfortunately got uh one tony <laughs> but in the process she made a new friend um uh, becky i think that was her name but also like you know the operation friendship is down the like you know like dumps you know like minus 100 percent uh minus 100 relationship points from with damien so We'll have to see what is going to happen after this anyways let's start this is episode number seven so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go okay making food hmm Yeah, but that's not yep <laughs> yeah but friendship scheme <laughs> Wow. Yeah, but that that's also not going to happen. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Like you know, like maybe maybe Anya can can become an imperial scholar. I'm pretty sure she will be able to by the end of it. Like I'm, I'm talking about the like you know like the end of the mission. I'm sure that'll come a lot later in the future. We're nowhere near that part. <laughs> but maybe she will be. You know, who knows?
Okay, let's see. <laughs> what? The target's second son. Second son? <laughs> wow. Wait, they're eating om rice and bread? That's a weird choice of breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, maybe. Yeah, she is kind of. She is bad. Yep. Wait, is is that her backpack? That's a cute backpack. Okay. True, exactly. Oh, okay, they, they, they're going to go into the school bus. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know how this will go. Work, yep. <laughs> oh no <laughs> Alright Oh my god Oh that's Becky okay <laughs> Look at her <laughs> Guess her Oh! <laughs> well, um... Oh my god, that's him. Oh no, there's like a, a bandage. Oh god. Okay, Anya, you need to apologize. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> She's like, nope. Yeah, no need to apologize to them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god, he's actually keep keeping an eye on them. Oh, really? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not possible, Lord. <laughs> oh my oh my god, I feel like you're somewhere here, just keeping an eye on her as well. Well Yeah, people are avoiding him. Oh no. <laughs> wow, Becky, you know know quite a few complicated words. <laughs> Wait, what the what's happening? He isn't able to Okay. Well, Dan is fearful of getting punched again. That's why. Oh, wow. Older brother. Ugh. Damn. Oh no. Well, yeah, he can, she can, you know, detect.
Hmm. Wait, they're learning. Di what? How, how old are they? What's happening? You don't learn these type of things in elementary school. What? Damn, Eden Academy is crazy. <laughs> Second son. Don't, don't call him second son. He'll be offended, I think. <laughs> Yo, Lloyd. <laughs> Wait, where's your? I was sure she was here somewhere. <laughs> what type of a disgust is that? <laughs> that disguise. <laughs> wow these people <laughs> no that's not god that's your dad Anya <laughs> Yep Lunch time Yeah, what type of oh my god s o r <laughs> Anna's like yep, I'm not going to oh my god Okay, there's a lot of variety. Ah! <laughs> Lord. Oh my god, this guy. Don't call her him second son. He's definitely going to get offended, offended by that. <laughs> <laughs> Newbie. <laughs> ah. Yes. Go. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. Oh no, <laughs> she's like, oh my god, he's, she's going to punch me again. I, I doubt that. Anya is going through a training. Oh boy. <coughs> oh my god, wait, what's happening? What the? Yeah. Shrimp. Super. Okay. Wow. Uh. Okay. You're going too far. Oh my god. Uh. Wait, what's happening here? <laughs> Wait. Oh no. Ah. Uh. The yeah oh my god 
<laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I can see where this is going. I can see where this is going. Very well. Oh boy. Damn, he's gonna get a heart attack. What the hell? <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> You know what? I feel like Plan B succeeded in a in a really weird way. Question mark. <laughs> well. No, it's not. She's a kid. Yeah. Oh my god. This school is crazy. Oh, he thinks he, he, he wants. Oh my god. So he plans on him, her becoming, yeah. The Imperial Scholar. Okay. Oh my god, don't go there. Uh. Yeah, come on. He's not thinking about it. Yeah. Hmm. No. Okay. Yep. No! Oh my god. This is how she, she does maths? This is how she does maths? Okay. That's... <laughs> no. Well, to be fair, like, you know, he thinks Anya is very intelligent because, you know, the first episode, yeah, that's true. No, Lloyd, you're forgetting something. Yeah. You need to keep, like, you know, make her happy first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let her do what she wants. Yeah, true. Yep. Nah, this is your family as well, your. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like falling asleep or something? Oh no, she was actually sulking. Oh my god, this day was bad. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Ministry of Foreign Affairs. <clears throat> oh. Probably taught me. What?
Oh really? Uh okay, interesting. <laughs> Yours like oh my god. Yeah. True, you, you should motivate Anya, you know? Like, he could say that, oh, if you can do this, you'll... Like, you know, like, yeah, praise her and say that you'll get a reward or something. Like, not the other way. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you remember? Yeah, in the school? Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is your family as well. <laughs> well, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. She's still in her room. Oh no. Oh my god, I... Did she like run away or something? Or I feel like she ran away through the window or something. No, no, she's there. Okay, thank God. Oh, okay, she's asleep. All right. <laughs> she's studying. Yeah, not watching anime, you know? The one thing that she loves. Okay, okay, Anya, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> what? That's how she sleeps? <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. No, oh, that's where it ends. All right, an interesting episode. We can see where this is going to go. Oh boy, I was not expecting <laughs> Damien actually like you know that the story going in that direction. I was not expecting that. But okay, that's interesting. Like, like if Damien starts liking her, then this whole thing will have. A very interesting twist, like, yeah, like one thing, you know, like, I'm thinking, like, 
like Anya can read minds. So unless and until Damien himself realizes that he actually likes her, I feel like Anya herself will also probably like like as, as soon as Damien realizes it. I I I I you know what? I think I'm thinking too much about this because they're they're kids. Like I doubt Damien will ever even realize it. That yeah okay. Oh, there's still something left. Who the? Oh, this is Yuri, okay. Oh, Dominic. Oh, that guy, Dominic. Uh. Oh my god, he's, he's, he's going to know that Yuri is married. Uh. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, that's the end. Oh. Alright, what I was saying here is um, that, like, you know what, I, I guess they're, they're, basically, they're, they're kids. Like, you know, I don't think Dominic is, uh, like, you know, De uh, Desmond. Des that was his name, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> he will even uh, realize that he that actually likes Anya. Probably it'll take like you know like he'll not even realize it because as soon as he realizes it, like Anya's going to know like that'll be kind of an interesting twist you know like like usually what we get in anime is like you know like oh like you know this person likes this person and like they take like five five seasons for you know like them to actually realize their feelings. I feel like like you know in at, at least in this show. You know, like if someday, you know, like obviously it won't be now, but if when they like, you know, become teenagers or something, like, you know, if, if as soon as he realizes his feelings, Anna's going to know then and there. So that'll be kind of interesting. Like, you know, I don't know how this is going to go. And um, as I was saying, you know, I was, I was just talking about, oh, what's going to happen. But then I'm like, yeah, obviously, like, you know, uh, he won't realize it because he's, he's just a kid. Like, I, how old is he? Like, five, I think, or something? <laughs> I don't think he'll realize anything. Um, <laughs> but um, interesting thing here is that this is how this is going to go. Which, okay, like, you know, like, this is going to bring a lot of interesting developments in this show. Like, you know, like, <laughs> well, like, Damn, like, where can we start? Like, you know, like, this, this whole family, like, you know, like, his dad, her dad is uh, a spy. Her mom is an assassin. She is infiltrating, if you can think of it like that. This hidden academy for world peace. And uh, he meets the target's son. And the target's son starts liking her. And she can read minds. Like, wow, this is just wild. <laughs> I think, why? <laughs> Oh lord, <laughs> this is going. <laughs> this is going in an interesting direction. Okay, we begin with um. Uh, what's his name? Um, Lloyd. We begin with Lloyd thinking about what to do. You know, like this is like a problem because um yeah Damian uh, got punched <laughs> and <laughs> he like and Anya got like a demerit. Uh, what was it called? To Tonito, I think. Yeah got one tonito so he's like all right like you know this this is barely the start i'm sure everything will be fine you know, it won't be a problem anya is obviously very conflicted about the whole situation because you know like the main tar target of anya was to make friends with her with him and uh, this is how it went and he even she even got like a tonito so like the fact that uh, like you know like I feel like this is going to be a huge factor all the time where Anya will always be like you know scared of the fact that if the mission fails Lloyd is going to abandon her like this is be a I think this is be like a huge factor in this show because she's a child you know she she doesn't she wouldn't be able to like you know what can I say she, she will always have this fear and 
we already saw she has like probably like a trauma with her original parents like something probably happened to them you know like so and and she went multiple times to multiple like you know people like you know, multiple people adopted her but they just left her back in the orphanage just returned her so this being a trauma she is she is just you know like she'll always think like you know, she'll 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 always have this type of a trust issue how like you know like it, it doesn't matter how much she loves your and uh, lloyd she'll always have this thing of like you know that oh like you know, if the mission fails i'll be abandoned and uh, i wonder i'm sure a day will come you know in the future when this thing will actually go away when anya herself will realize that oh like you know like they'll not abandon me but ah uh, like yeah i feel like what i'm talking about i feel like that's going to happen way in the future because even like you know now you uh, like you know lloyd at least lloyd still thinks of this as a mission you know like what i'm talking about is only going to happen when lloyd your and anya actually doesn't think about the mission and actually becomes a good family you know without any conditions you know when a day will come when lloyd will be able to do something for anya without it being part of the mission and when like he's already doing that i'm not saying that he's not doing that i'm saying like when he himself would realize that oh that <clears throat> this is not part of the mission but i'm going to do this because you know anya wants it when the day will come and way when he himself will realize that i feel like that is the day when anya will probably be able to trust lloyd and your completely you know she won't have this whole thing of oh if the mission fails i'll be abandoned this thing will go away but <clears throat> that's probably going to happen way in the future because they barely got to meet like you know <clears throat> they barely met each other like how many days have passed we don't know like i think a few months or something that lloyd your and anya became a family so it's going to take a time you know like probably like at least one or two years it'll take for them to actually build up that relationship I mean, who knows maybe quicker but it'll take time at least a few months i think anyways um so yeah we begin the day with anya being depressed and then <clears throat> lord is like don't worry you know like you go and do your best and the school bus comes in takes her to the school and Lloyd told Anya, like, we should apologize to Damien. <coughs> now, uh, Anya gets to meet Becky. Becky, obviously, Becky is, like, you know, like, very rich. Like, you know, the car comes in, Becky comes out, and Anya's like, oh, a rich, a rich lady. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Then they go and see, like, you know, Damien just standing there. And Anya tries to apologize, but Becky was like, oh, you don't need to apologize to these guys. Like, you know, no, I think, the, no, sorry, uh, she didn't say that. She's like, no need to talk to them. Yeah, no need to talk to them. Let's go. <laughs> and I, it was hilarious as to Lloyd was actually keeping an eye on them. You know what? I really thought Yor was also going to keep an eye on her. Probably somewhere just waiting for hiding. But she was not here, which was kind of surprising. But you know what? Who knows? Maybe she was here. Maybe her assassination skills or something was so high level that we weren't able to see Yor. Yor was probably hiding somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if it was actually something like that. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah. Now, <clears throat> Yor. Uh, not yours sorry um anya and becky they, they go in the classroom everyone's just avoiding them because you know like she has this infamous reputation now that she punched a <laughs> punched one uh, child and uh becky doesn't care because like ah, who cares you know what but you know what like this whole atmosphere was so so bad that everything was coming you know in uh, anya's mind and obviously she was getting a lot of stressed because everyone was thinking about this situation everyone was like oh why what is she even doing here you know, like this that everything was just invading her mind um now interesting thing here becky this part i need to check again becky says like oh you can call me becky no need to call me lady <clears throat> 
She says, I hope we can become the best of friends. Interesting thing happened here. There was like a little sound effect of, you know, the, the, the sound effect that usually plays when she tries to read the mind. So that means she was trying to read Becky's mind. But it kind of, like, you know, the, the, the thing kind of a weird sound effect happened, like balloon popping. And, um, what's her name? Um, Becky says, like, I'm the only one who knows you, how good you are. So I think what this actually was is that Anne was trying to read her mind and see what she's telling. Is it according to what she's thinking? Like you know, obviously people can say good words, but in their mind they can think something different. You know? So I'm guessing she was probably testing what Becky's actual like you know feelings in her heart was. Was it was it what she was saying, or was she also faking the whole thing? But the little sound effect that we saw, you know, like when she was trying to read the mind probably shows or indicates that what she was thinking and what she's telling are the same. She doesn't have any other, you know, like, um, thing in her mind. What she's like, you know, she's meaning what she's saying. That's what's happening. I, and I think that's why Anya, like, you know, even though she was uh, hearing all the other people, like, you know, bad mouthing her in their mind. Uh, Anya still kind of smiled after that conversation, after talking with Becky, because she realized that, ah, this is my genuine friend. And uh, she's not wearing like a mask in front of me. And yeah, she says, school is scary, but I think I'm going to be okay. So yeah, that's probably what happened. And obviously, like, you know, we saw in the previous episode, Becky, Becky was really like, you know, touched by uh, Anya's consideration as to how she like you know helped her not help her out but because you know uh, damien like you know just stepped on her foot she punched him and you know when she said that becky was like oh like you know what a considerate like you know person like you know and she was she i, I think that's when she decided to be like you know her genuine self in front of anya so yeah there's there's no no like you know mask that she's wearing unlike all the other children here she's genuinely her friend now interesting thing <laughs> damon was con continuously thinking of like you know kind of keeping her his eye on anya and he says like this is the first time i've had to deal with such Where is it? Oh, no one. Okay, here we go. No one has defied me before. I've never even been hit by my older brother. Okay. So. <laughs> oh boy. So basically, yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, this is the first time someone hit me. How, how can that little child even like gonna you know, do something that even my brother never did to me like that type of an attitude you know and she was just he was just continuously keeping an eye on anya and obviously anya is sensitive to these she she, she could realize what's happening and uh, yeah the whole class was just uh, it was a very bad um you know like bad what you could can say like experience for anya like not only like you know the, these things are coming in her mind invading her um the teacher is actually teaching them what Pythagoras theorem? I think that that's Pythagoras theorem, isn't it? What? Oh my God, this school is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> How old are they? What is ha okay? <laughs> I, I, yeah. My God, this this is a crazy place. <laughs> so. Oh God. Anya's like, all right, I need to actually apologize to, you know, Damien. But Becky's like, oh, don't need to, like, you know, no need to apologize to him. Like, you know, let's go. We are good friends. Let's go and eat, go to the cafeteria, have some uh, food. <laughs> For a moment, Anya was like, all right, maybe you're right. But then she realizes that Lloyd is there <laughs> in disguise. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 I should not forget my mission. I have to apologize. Um... 
Oh, sorry, not the cafeteria. They were going to the next class. And the next class was the science class where they were touch, like, teaching them about reflection. Like, what the hell? They're, touching, like, they're teaching them about physics. Like, <laughs> yeah, this, this, is, this, is, this is crazy, this place. Oh, my God. <laughs> And obviously, uh, like, you know, Lloyd was like, oh, apologize to him, you know, and for a moment, Anya thought that God was actually telling her to apologize. <laughs> okay, and then the next class, you know, like, the, again, like, the same thing in the, in the, in the book. <laughs> There's like a thing written, sometimes it's just better to admit you're wrong and to get along with others. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, and then outside the, 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 sh bushes it was written sorry and the, the omri said anya orders it also has written sorry in it and <laughs> oh god interesting thing here um basically says that when anya's like oh i want omri Becky says, what a bizarre dish. And I think she has like pasta on her dish. I think that's pasta. I don't know. I think so. Um, so that, that kind of, that means that she, she doesn't really real, like, you know, know what an omurice is. And she's like, what a bizarre dish. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but anyways. So Anya's like, oh no, I need to go and apologize to Desmond. But Becky's always like, oh, you know, don't need to go and apologize. So Lloyd is like, all right, I can understand what the problem here is. I need to take Becky out of this, uh, like, you know, out of this formula. You know, like she needs to move from here. Otherwise, Anya won't be able to do anything. So Lloyd just goes to the, the, the intercom or whatever it's called and asks for Becky to come. And uh, Anya's like, all right, this is my chance. She goes in front of them and she tries to apologize. Damon really doesn't, like, you know, is just ignoring her but these two i don't even know their name who are they like these two like what can i say like you know, these two these two kids yeah like and you know, like these two <laughs> who who act like you know damien's bodyguard those two kids they like they're like oh my god like what are you doing here why are you here do you want to fight you know that type of a thing they're doing and in their head like you know they're continuously thinking of Oh, this girl, why is she here? You know, uh, look at her, she looks ugly. She, she her, her legs, look at her legs. This and that and continuously just, you know, like bad mouthing her in their head. Um, the way little kids do, you know, they, they, you know, they, they're just doing that. And Damon was really trying to ignore her. But then in the end, when Anya was like, you know, you know, Anya's trying to talk to uh, Damien. Damien comes up and Damien's like, what is happening? Why can't I talk to her? <laughs> what is this feeling? <laughs> oh my God. And oh my God, this is so crazy. Anya, like, you know, the whole thing, all the uh, bad mouthing comes in her head. You know, they call her raccoon, commoner, you know, stubby legs. I think something like that, you know, like weird accessories as horns, those things. Like everything's just coming to her mind and she just breaks down, starts crying. And uh, it's like, I'm sorry I hit you yesterday. Um, I just wanted to be friends with you. And oh boy, <laughs> it's like a visual representation of Damien's feelings. Like some rose starts blooming. <laughs> rose starts blooming in his heart. Wow. And he's like, ah, what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this aura? <laughs> and oh my God. He really doesn't know what to do here, but because obviously he, he doesn't realize what's happening. And he's like, no, I, I cannot. I, I cannot accept your apology. Like he's, you know, his whole face is red and he runs away. <laughs> and obviously Anna doesn't realize what happened, Anya is shocked. And the person who is more shocked is Lloyd. Because Lloyd is like, he just rejected her apology. What are we going to do now? World peace is going to be destroyed. <laughs> and Damian, Damian is just running away. Now, <laughs> they were writing there, like, you know, the, um, 
uh, mish plan b uh, uh french the friendship plan is just you know just over but you know what <laughs> i feel like this this plan worked a bit too well and they don't realize it now in the future you know what i don't think they're going to realize this even in the future but yeah it did work in a very weird way so yeah hopefully someday they will become friends i'm sure they will you know like anya and uh, damien like i was kind of skeptical about this kid you know like uh when he was introduced but i can see how this is going to go like you know i was skeptical because i, I thought like oh this is going to be that typical you know the the guy bullies the girl and uh, you know like you know she go, anya has get, is going to get bullied by her him and he'll be a very nasty piece of work i was i was thinking it was going to go in that direction and uh, anya will like you know have her character development by uh, something like that i was thinking like you know by standing up against damien or something but this this kind of you know like took a very interesting route and i'm like okay so this this is kind of new I don't know how this is going to go, but yeah, I feel like this will be interesting. Anyways, um, <laughs> so Lloyd is like, all right, friendship plan is canceled. Now Anya will have to become the Imperial Scholar, and he's teaching Anya all the different things, and uh, like talking, like teaching her fractions. Like my God, the <laughs> the things. And uh, Anya was like, oh my god, I cannot, I cannot do this, I don't know what to do. She, she tries to like, you know, read Lloyd's mind, but Lloyd is thinking about the world piece, so nothing can be done there. <laughs> she calls Yor, and Yor, she's like, mom, like, you know, can you help me out? And mom is like, alright. Yor sees the question, and she's like, okay, like one by five. That means if there's like a human body, you know, the, the two hands, the two legs, and the body, like, you know, it's like five. Then she's like, wait a minute. What about the head? <laughs> the head is an extra piece. What do we do with the head? And Anya was like, okay, like impossible. <laughs> oh God. Anya, Anya just falls down and she just, she's like, no, I cannot do this. And I don't want to study, runs away to her room. And Lloyd is like, come on, Anya, you have to study. You know, this is like, you know, our mission, like, you know, like the falls, like, you know, like everything is, on you so here i was thinking like okay like now this is going in a really weird like kind of bad direction because lloyd is basically just you know just thinking about the mission and uh, he like you know like he he should he should look at it through anya's point of view um but as i said before you know like lloyd himself like I'm sure there'll a, ti a time will come when Lloyd himself will actually realize that oh the mission doesn't matter all that matters is my family, and that day they will become family in a real sense. You know, unless and until that day comes, I feel like this this thing is going to kind of persist of where Anya is like oh if the mission fails I'll be abandoned, and Lloyd will always be like oh you know everything like you know falls on the mission the mission should be accomplished all these things these things is going to persist up and until that day when lloyd himself will realize and uh, i feel like now what's happening here in these episodes are like stepping stones to that that one goal these are like little stepping stones for example in this episode lloyd was able to realize that she he should not think about himself only you know on of the mission he should look at it through anya's point of view and you know like he himself should become a better father so that Anya could become a better child you know, a better person. So he should look at himself as like, you know, mend his ways. The way he was trying to do this is not a way a good father does things, you know. So he, he was able to learn that, you know. And by making a mistake, he was able to learn that. And little by little, you know, like, he's going to learn things. And uh, like... It is going to take a little bit of time because he's not really accustomed to this, you know, like he's, he's a spy for, you know, he, he fights, he kind of, <laughs> like, you know, just infiltrates places and everything. He's not accustomed to raising a child, so it will take time, but, you know, like since he's a good person, it will take time, but I'm sure he will 
be going in the correct path he will be walking the correct path in the correct direction and you know what the best thing about this is he's not alone here if he does some mistake i'm sure you will be able to pick up on that and just like how in this episode your told lloyd like what's happening she's like oh like you know like don't don't you worry everything will be okay you know like just give her time and give her the space i'm sure she'll be like you know she'll do everything like you know fine she, she'll do good in school she'll like you know like do everything better just just leave it to her because this is the age where children should not worry about getting good grades they should only worry about having fun and uh, that's what we should focus on at this moment like obviously we cannot let her get expelled like you know the bare minimum we're going to do to help her out but other than that don't worry about these things like this is how you told lloyd about these things and your was very good at this because he she had a little brother with him her she's accustomed to taking care of people you know like of of children like you know people younger than her age Lloyd was was never in that position before because I think we got a little backstory before where Lloyd said something like I I never had any parents or something yeah and she was already like you know just uh, fighting and just like you know doing his spy duties so he doesn't know he's not accustomed to these things that's why he was walking in the wrong direction making a mistake but since your knows this your has like you know previous experience she told her him and like you know told like you know, gave him the correct path how to do this and lloyd is like yeah you're right i should become a better father instead of worrying about anya i should look at myself first and that's how this mission is going to succeed and uh, that's what i'm saying you know he's not alone if he was alone here it would have been a source of concern because he could make mistakes and no one would be there to show him but there you go like you know he he's not alone yor is there yor can show him if his mistakes if he does something wrong vice versa as well if someday your like you know starts walking in a wrong direction which i doubt is going to happen because your doesn't have a mission you know like your basically just wants to lay low so i doubt this is going to happen with your but still if someday by any chance you know like your also makes a mistake or something lloyd can you know like teach her and show her the correct way just helping each other out and up until like you know like here again we see your was always like saying like oh like you know like what am i saying i'm 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 trying to lecture you like you know who like you know you and your child you know i, I shouldn't have done that it's not my place but as lloyd said that no this is your family as well you know and uh, <laughs> she's like oh yeah you're right i'm a mom now <laughs> But yeah, that was nice. You know, that was a nice little section. Uh, Lloyd realized his mistake. He realized that all right, I should let Anya go do things on her own, and I should not pressure her to like oh make friends, oh do the study, oh do this, do that. Like the bare minimum, you should help her out, show her the correct path, but not like you know like like you should show her the correct path, not just take her hand and lead her. you know like you should not do that you should not just like you know like show like you know you should not uh, what can i say like you should just do the bare minimum to help her out that's it because at her age you know you should not force her to do stuff that's going to work out in a very bad way and that will be kind of you know i don't know kind of a little bit bad for the mental growth and mental health of anya and as a family their growth is going to get hindered So yeah, guide her, but do not, like you know, spoon feed her or something like that. I don't know, like what am I, what I'm even saying, but something like that. Um. So here we get a little bit of a section where Yuri talks about her brother, of how Yuri was also kind of like this. Yuri always, like you know, like as soon as Yuri saw that, uh, Yuri praised him when he taught something to Yuri. he got more happy and he always tried to teach new things to uh you know your and that's why you know like uh, just to get praised by her sister his sister so this is another thing you know like one thing that lord was doing here i saw lord was like oh you have to do this otherwise you won't get to see your spy uh, like you know uh, anime um i guess this is another way of disciplining your child but 
still if he did the opposite like oh you know like if you are able to do this you can i don't know get an extra snap or something something like that like you know not don't penalize the child but reward her for doing something good you know for doing something bad don't penalize her but for doing something good reward her i feel like that's a better way like a positive way of teaching her stuff and uh, but this also does have like a negative like you know thing you know negative side because if you always reward her she will always like you know like a child will always expect something for doing something that is that in itself is also not good you know so i feel like you know kind of mix it up like you know just reward her most of the times but sometimes also kind of discipline her but you know like keep it in a balance not just like oh you're going to get uh, punished if you aren't able to do this not like that positive encouragement sometimes some like you know like disciplining like you know some and, and then again like as i as i said like you know if, if he always goes with the positive encouragement i feel like children can actually like you know like in the future they'll be like oh i'm doing this i should i should get something for this that will be their mentality and that's not good in its own you know <laughs> so like you know everything has like a negative side so Keep everything in a balance and i think it would have worked fine that's why your was like oh i praised uh, yuri that's why he was excited so maybe you know like just like that praise anya say something like oh you're able to do this very good you know like i'm so happy like you know praise her so that's how she will grow and lloyd is like all right like you know I'm, i understand and lloyd goes in front of anya's room and he sees that Anya was like you know like studying and everything and fell asleep he's like all right like she's also trying on her own as well <laughs> and she, he's like all right I'll, I'll just record the pi anime and that she forgot to watch today <laughs> uh, in her dreams Anya was saying something like mama don't kill <laughs> don't kill papa or something what was she saying no mama you can't kill papa oh my god yeah oh i, I wonder what her dream was <laughs> i think it was, she was probably having like you know like dr dream about the previous episode in the like you know amusement park where <laughs> your was like you know fighting against lloyd and all drunk <laughs> oh my god anyways yeah and that's where it ends and in the end there was after, after the after the after credit scene we, we see yuri and Yuri meets this Dominic, the guy, uh, who was, you know, like, in that party. And Dominic is like, oh, you didn't know? Your sister got married? And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, I think we, in the next episode we're going to see more of Yuri. We'll see. But yeah, that's it. A really good episode, you know, this, this episode really shows us how, like, you know, like, what the whole thing is going, like, the whole thing with Desmond, how that's going to go. That is like in like is going in an interesting direction. While here at the same time, how like you know Lloyd also kind of got to know like you know how what to do and what not to do and how to become a good parent. And Anya was also able to like you know get a little bit of character development. Everyone was able to get little bits and pieces of character development. This is a good episode. And as I said, it'll take time for them to actually become a family in that sense. And when that day will come, when Lloyd will actually think of Anya and Yor as his actual family without any prerequisite conditions, without any missions and everything, that is the day when Anya will probably be able to trust Lloyd to, with her, with her whole heart. Like she did say she, she loved Lloyd and Anya, hundred, like, you know, like would give them 100 points, but there's still that trust issue of, oh, I'm going to get abandoned if the mission fails. So for that to be like you know okay it'll take time and i'm sure they will reach that position both lloyd and anya needs to grow in their own way and your as well so that's how they can become a good family anyways that's it thanks for watching this is my reaction to spy family episode number seven if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Spy Family. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.